Mmm. What do we have here? Whoa. We got a steamed up camera. <laughs> there we go. Let's turn this on low. Get it warmed up a little bit more. This is August 28th, 2021. It's Father's Day. And you would think that most of your recipes you'll get from your mom. And that's probably true. Except when it comes to venison. Deer. This is... I wanted to do something different. It's Saturday. I worked most of the day. I wanted to do something different for food. And so I've made myself basically a little stew, a little roast. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do a roast. A venison roast. I actually prefer to use tomato paste or tomato soup and put it in there also. And I'm not a big fan of carrots, although I like steamed carrots. I had some carrots, but I didn't put them in there. So this, this is just onion, green beans, and beer. Onion, green beans, roast, and beer. Well, and I put salt and pepper and onion powder and garlic powder in there too, so, for flavor. I found that you really can't go overboard with the pepper. I mean, I guess you could, but I usually put a lot of pepper in my roast or my stew for venison. Um, onion is a must. The onion kind of breaks down and makes it sweet and adds flavor. Like I said, I wish I had some tomato paste or tomato soup I could put in there, but I don't. And so I bypass that and I put beer in there. So it's a beer deer or a deer beer roast. It's a baby roast. This was a little button buck I shot last year. And I uh, decided, well, it's not much, and it's just me, and so I'll make it for myself. Um, I've never really tried this. I don't anticipate it would be too bad, but like I said, I like the tomato paste, or I like the tomato soup to put in there, too, and I skipped the carrots this time around. Don't do potatoes. Uh, occasionally, I'll put potatoes in there, but... Man, potatoes are just filler, so I like the veggies and the meat. That's what I like. So if you're ever going to make me a roast, a deer roast, which would be a dream, a um, couple things to know. You can season it. Put in your onion powder, your garlic powder, your pepper, and your salt. That's okay. All right? I prefer tomato paste and tomato soup. Um, if you're going to do carrots or potatoes, go very easy on those. Those are starches, and a lot of times it's just silly filler. You want to keep the water or the fluid level up above, just above the the meat, so the meat soaks. Okay, don't let the air expose the meat. And uh, always cook venison on low, low and slow for all venison, even jerky. If you do jerky, low and slow. Roast, low and slow. Steak, low and well. There's an exception for steak, but we'll get to that another day. Anyway. That's my deer roast recipe, one of them. This is the one, obviously, without tomato paste and tomato soup. I really like the tomato in there. And I'll even cut up tomatoes and put them in there. I didn't put any tomatoes in this one. This is just onion and green beans and beer and deer. So uh, it's uh, no, I didn't have all the ingredients to make my favorite concoction, but I've given you the ingredients here, and so you can do it low and slow low and slow. Stay away from too many starches like potatoes and and uh, carrots. Always do onion, green beans, corn, and tomatoes if you can. Tomato paste, all right? Low and slow. And it'll be good. It should break up pretty well. Oh yeah, see look at that. That's already falling apart. Falling apart perfectly. Look at that. That's gonna be delicious. Oh. Anyway, now you have my roast recipe. See? I'll share you the recipe, and one of these days maybe you'll make it for me. Happy Father's Day, August 28th, 2021. Mmm. I'm thinking of you.